I'm going to show you how to make an awesome blue bonnet picture like this. Let's get started. On your paper in the middle, you're going to start by drawing from the top to the bottom one stem. You could make it thin at the top and make it get thick at the bottom like that if you want. Makes it look more realistic. And then in between the side of the paper and the first stem, draw another one. You could make it bend. And on the other side, almost halfway, right about here, from bottom to top, because we want to try to take up the paper and use the whole thing. And one more here, and one more here. So they should take up your paper. They should be spread out, not like all in a little clump together. Those are the stems for our blue bonnets. Next, we need to make the leaves. They kind of look like a hand with five fingers. So let's go ahead and on each one, make a little curved line. It's an easy way to get started. Make a curve to one side or the other. After you have the curved line on each one, go ahead and add the little five fingers. One, two, three, four, five on each one. If they don't have exactly five, that's okay. When you're done making the leaves, go ahead and color them in. Remember to put the cap on your marker and put it back in the box. Now it's time to use some paint. When you're using the paint, you're going to start with the white paint. And remember, only use one finger, okay? All your other fingers and your hand should stay clean. The only thing that gets paint should be one finger. Please make sure you don't use more than one finger. So we get a little bit of paint, not too much on that finger. I didn't get it on the other side, just on the tip of the finger. And then start doing some dots on each flower. I like to start just at the end of it and do about four dots. I like to start with my biggest dot with the most paint toward the bottom. And then after you've got a little line on each one, you can add some more, but keep it kind of almost like a triangle shape. After you've added white to just the top of each flower, now it's time to start with the blue. You're going to use the same finger. That is important because you want to blend the white and the blue. What happens when you blend white and blue? Let's find out. If we get a little bit of blue, look at that. It makes a lighter color of blue. And that's good, we want it to be a lighter color of blue. And you can kind of tap it around a little bit in the bottom of the white paint so that it will be light blue.
Do I have my other hands or my other fingers clean? Yes, only one finger. Please do not get paint all over your hands, only one finger. Once you've blended some blue, then you can start bringing that blue down. to do the rest of the flower, all the way down the stem to where the leaf is. Keeping my hand clean. Remember just to tap the color on, not to swirl or finger paint with it. You're just tapping it on. Look how clean the rest of my fingers are. Let's see if you can do it now. <laughs> <laughs>